Hello everyone and welcome again. Check this out. Clash of Clans Puffy Power again in town. Yep, but you do that. Check this out. I have another inferno. I'm going to make it into a multiple so I'll be able to cover more uh, troops, more invaders. Yep. Okay, my king is level 14. I'm trying to save 65,000 for my next upgrade to get my king to a level 15, which is awesome. And uh, his ability will be plus one as well so it will be three and i will gain more power well, more damage more hit points and i will get another two barbarians added to the summoned units which is awesome so i'll be able to have 10 of these barbarians and they will be more powerful with the king as well but now first thing first is let me show you my archers finished and level seven which is yeah i'm so freaking excited about it it's so awesome level seven fantastic i just had one raid i'll be showing it to you as well <clears throat> To be honest, these archers are much, much better than before now. I am trying to save another 6 million for my barbarians to make them into level 7 as well. Then I'll start working on the giants. Then, you know, the rest bit by bit. But now my aim is to start with the barbarians to make them into level 7. And this is what I need to do. Okay, as you can see, my new cannon is level 11, going to be level 12 soon. And it will be, I'm oh, sorry, level 10 going to be level 11 soon level 12 i wish <laughs> level 12 that will have this beautiful looking tough cannon yep um i don't know what to say boys and girls i'm so freaking excited things is looking awesome even my dark elixir drill i did try to make it to level three now so i need another three million i could do it now but i don't want to make it you know i'm trying to save for the barbarians then i'll start saving probably some to make this dark elixir drill like these ones level five and i want them to be all level six in the end but yeah you know we're working bit by bit so finger crossed things will look awesome in the end okay some gold in there beautiful i have lots of stuff upgraded in this town i even upgraded if you remember one of my hot air balloons or oh, hot air balloons air bombs and uh, I think where's my extra i got one extra bomb and it's upgraded to level three so all my bombs now level three as you can see and i don't want to try to upgrade them now because they will take two and a half million which is too much for next level it is way too much let me see what's the difference so 25 it will be more powerful but it will cost twenty thousand to be rearmed this is too much and it will cover which is like four tiles one two three four wow it's big space so now i cover like three and a half so probably that far it's not bad you know i'll be doing that in the end of probably after i max all my uh walls all my defenses as well so finger crossed things will go smooth as you can see the archers look so sweet i love this the little crown in their head it looks beautiful okay let me show you this um raid but before i show you this raid let me show you this two guys towns and um, these two guys they are really really supporting this clan so good and i mean we have loads of people supporting the clan so good i mean this one is new as well now and he's as you can see he got a new and he got this town okay the first one i think his name but um i believe he's somewhere that's him and this guy as you can see he's supporting and let me show you his town as you can see his town he's not too strong yet but he is working on it and i love it you know when i see these kind of towns i mean we all check this out he is working in his walls perfect he's making them into level seven which is fantastic and i think this guy will have a i love the way he decorate his town his town for you know level eight town hall it's fantastic as you can see it is i mean if you're in the same level town hall you'll think oh, i can't even raid this town so easy you need uh, good troops and he's working in his mortals as you can see level five he still have this one to go to level five and his cannons level eight i believe all of them level eight yep i think so um wizards level four fantastic i mean good luck to him to all of you guys boys and girls ladies and gentlemen this one is still going in progress as well so soon he will be trying to save some for these ones let me see how much elixir he have all right so he have like probably almost a million of elixir and gold let me see how much 
Um, not much gold, yeah. so probably this is why, because he's trying to save some more of this stuff. So, finger crossed, he will get as well a very powerful town. I mean, I wish him all the good luck to you and to this guy and all the other players. And one more town, I mean, this guy, he's been with us for a long time. <laughs> and he is really really supporting as well i mean these guys you know most of the people we have in here old ones i mean this is a new one as you can see he's donating Jaden. so people is working good they try to support and i love it when people join and straight away start supporting and you know these kind of stuff we love to see and we love to watch in this um, clan and i can't find this guy let me see where is he where is he where is he where is he and okay um ooh, where is he all oh, right we have lots almighty bear that's the one and this guy is working good i mean we have another guys uh having been playing for some time now so i just leave it for now and check this out almighty bear is really really working in his town and by the way boys and girls ladies and gentlemen he have his own channel so just go and check almighty bear channel as well he have some cool videos he's playing good this guy is awesome and he is working hard on his channel and in his town as well so check him out you know i like people they support and we support each other so it will be fantastic to be honest and I wish him all the good luck as well in his town as you've seen his town is really really very powerful then i mean if you haven't seen his pre my previous videos you will see his town it was not that strong but now his town is much much stronger so good luck to him to all of you as well okay let me show you my latest raids as you can see both raids beautiful okay let me show you this one first check this out Three stars, 100%, 231,000, 169,000 by 788 dark, 15 trophies. Trophies doesn't mean too much to me, to be honest, still, because I'm trying to work hard on my town, and then I'll start planning for these trophies. So, as you can see, cleared him out. I already finished my, uh, what do you call it, potion spell factory and it is max now it's i think level five and let me show you check this out now i don't have any more upgrades for that and i'm so freaking excited and i used to love it when i see this beautiful blue it looks like an eye in there so that the look of it is fantastic so now i'll be able to spawn these with freeze potions which is Ooh, land stick <laughs> i love it these ones sometimes i think like i wish i had them because when i you know when i try to raid some good towns really powerful towns so at least i'll be able to freeze their infernos they're probably expos or maybe 
the mortals, wizards, whatever they have powerful stuff inside there. So this is looking fantastic. Okay, let's head and check the second raid, which is awesome as well. And I really hope you do enjoy these raids. So check this out. As you can see all I was after is just to get one star so I'll be able to take the bonus um, loot the 14,000 by 14,000 and I got 207,000 gold 199,000 plus uh, almost 200,000 in elixir 722 again dark five trophies as I said trophies doesn't really mean that much to me all I care about the loot and I got very very good loot from this town so things is looking awesome you know i love it when things work like this cheap troops easy raids look for nice good towns with lots of loots but not very powerful like most of the towns they always try to put their mines like us i mean check this out. i put my mines outside but what i try to do um i try not to leave them for a long time so i keep checking my what do you call it shield and uh, then as soon as i feel like my shield is going to be running out I try to go inside all i have to do is just take all the all the gold all the elixirs from them these uh, elixir collectors and the mines as well and the dark elixir drills and then i just let you know i don't have to break the shield if you don't want to break it before 12 hours so if you leave like if i even i leave two three hours and didn't even check it no one will think of raiding because the mines looks empty and elixir collectors probably looks empty as well in like probably a couple of hours so you're still safe but when you have when you see like small dark lines in there of, of purpley or something like that so you will think all right if his elixir collectors is filled up to here that means his mines is full as well so anyone try to raid the town he will be thinking of yep yeah, probably he's having tons of loot in these mines so let me take them and this is how it works with them okay as you can see these two is level 12 finito completo i still have to work on these ones as well and i'm thinking because i have two builders but all i'm after now to get some more dark elixirs so what i'm going to do now i'm going to find another raid so i'll be back after i find this raid hopefully i'll find a good one see you in a bit hello again boys and girls and gentlemen check this out i found this town all i'm after now the dark to be honest winning losing i don't care i'm after the dark i normally don't go for these kind of towns but um i'm going to start go doing it so check this out <laughs>
I'm very happy with the result. I got the 914 dark. I have over 65,000 of dark elixirs, 102,000 elixir, 39,000 gold, the bonus as well, 22 trophies as usual. As long as I got one star, at least I get the bonus. This is, makes me really happy. And now I could go and do my king to level 15. One, two, boom. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is awesome. I'm so freaking excited now. Level 15, my king will be more powerful than he is. And I love it. Now I'll start saving the next dark elixir for my queen because i need to make her level 15 as well then i'll go back to the king then the queen till i max them to be honest because i want them to be maxed because when they are maxed towns like the one i just read it you probably with the king and queen you could maybe win like two-thirds of the town which is awesome and i'm so so happy about all the results I mean, things is looking fantastic. As you know, I'm trying to let you know every single update I'm going through, what's happening with the town. I mean, you've seen it, you've watched this town. It's all of our towns. You know, this town is, to be honest, I'm trying my best to work hard on this town for all of us. So we see how things goes with it and we have a good time. So boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, please don't forget to check my other videos or watch the beginning of the series for who haven't seen it. Please, and leave a like, favor, and sub. That will be great, big support. And I thank you all very, very much for your support. Stay tuned, and I'll be seeing you soon in my next video. Goodbye for now. Puppy power!